ShotSpotter technology has been used here in Detroit since March of 2021. Here's how it works. When shots are fired, a series of sensors picks up the sound, sends it to the company headquarters, who verifies it, then sends it to Detroit's real-time crime center. They're going to review it for about 30 to 45 seconds to confirm that they do believe it is gunfire. And this is the data sent, the sound recorded, and the pins where the system shows the shots were fired. A radius of 82 feet is where our target location is. In this case, in April on Beaconsfield, someone was critically shot. No calls to 911. The victim showed up at a hospital. Then Sunday, no one called 911 after the first shooting. Mother of five would be killed next. Mayor suggests shot spotter could have been a lifesaver. I let everybody make their own inference, but how is somebody spending a half hour with a dead body laying on the sidewalk on Wyoming, standing nearby and nobody comes, and then he murders a second person three blocks away? It could be true that shot spotter might have helped. Some members of the Detroit City Council are not on board with the mayor proposing spending $7 million in COVID relief money to build out shot spotter to four times the coverage area. Some have said it's two big brother with cameras and mics monitoring people. There's been a lot of misinformation out there that's utter nonsense. I want to evaluate the, the entire thing, uh, whether or not we actually need shot spotter, whether or not it actually works. A study last year in St. Louis by Southern Illinois University in Edwardsville concluded less than 1% of shot spotter calls over a five-year period yielded enough evidence to write a police report. From 2008 to early 2018, more than 19,000 shot spotter calls, but only 13 arrests. Again, I know it's working in Detroit. Council members will be invited to get their own demonstration. The commander of the 9th Police Precinct says shot spotter helps them in payback shootings where they don't get cooperation. We're able to sometimes prevent retaliatory shootings because we know from experience that individuals do lie about where they're shot. So we can use our shot spotter technology to go to those locations. There's still not a timetable right now when the city council will take this up. In Detroit, Jim Kirstner, 7 Action News.